Hi, this is Amr Abdikawad, and we're going to speak today about idiopathic true walking. What are objectives of this lecture is first, we'd like to explain the pathology of idiopathic true walking, and then we're going to speak about differentiation between idiopathic true walking and uh, true walking secondary to other condition. And finally, we'd like to outline the management of idiopathic true walking. A good source that you can use is this book, a pediatric orthopedic handbook for primary care physician written by myself and Dr. Naga. What is the definition of toe walking? Toe walking is a pattern of gait in which the child walk on his toes with the ankle plantar flexed. If there is no underlying cause that can be identified, the condition is usually referred to as habitual toe walking or idiopathic toe walking. So toe walking is a diagnosis of exclusion. What is the etiology of idiopathic toe walking? Obviously, it's unknown. That's why it's called idiopathic. However, it may be related to tight Achilles tendon and sometimes it's associated with autism or speech delay. So what is the differential diagnosis of idiopathic toe walking or what are the secondary causes that can cause the kid to toe walk? Cerebral palsy uh, and cerebral palsy is the most important differential diagnosis for idiopathic toe walking. And actually, it's, uh, sometimes it's extremely hard to differentiate between uh, cases of idiopathic toe walking and mild cerebral palsy. And however, a few things that can help you to differentiate. First is assessment of the upper extremity. In idiopathic toe walking, it will be normal. However, it will be restricted during uh, gait in uh, cerebral palsy also assessment of the knee uh, the knee will be uh, in increased degrees of flexion with uh, kids of cerebral palsy however it's usually hyperextended in idiopathic toe walking uh, again it's sometimes extremely difficult to differentiate between idiopathic toe walking and mild cerebral palsy and sometimes gait studies are needed for this reason other causes of toe walking include Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Assessment of the child of Duchenne muscular dystrophy will show positive gower sign. When you ask the child uh, to stand up from squatting position, he will uh, climb on himself. Uh, and also pseudo hypertrophy of the calf uh, with due to uh, invasion uh, by fibrous tissue of the muscles. Uh, tether core syndrome also can cause uh, toe walking. Um, however, it will also cause other neurological affections and possible bowel and bladder affection. Limb blood, Length discrepancy can cause uh, toe walking, however, it will cause only unilateral toe walking on the short side. This is the video for a four year old girl uh, with idiopathic toe walking. If you see here, she's walking on her tiptoe, she's not following the normal pattern. The normal pattern is called heel toe pattern. This means that uh, when you walk, you first uh, uh, touch the floor uh, with your heel, uh, and then after that, before the swing phase, uh, your uh, toe are on the floor. Uh, in this uh, uh, pattern of walking, which is the tiptoe, uh, the whole uh, gait cycle is on the uh, uh, anterior part of the foot or the uh, tiptoe. If you see here again another time, she's walking on her tiptoe the whole gait cycle. Uh, when she walks away from the camera, you'll see that here she's walking only on her tiptoe and her heel does not touch the floor. The clinical presentation, as we saw in the video, the child will be walking uh, on his or her toes uh, with no pain. The condition is common in children less than uh, two years old when they're starting to learn how to walk. Uh, and if you assess the Achilles tendon uh, by doing ankle dorsiflexion, uh, it may be tight, especially with the knee extended. Uh, so you first flex the knee and then you uh, grab the whole foot uh, and do ankle dorsiflexion. You should have about 20 degree of ankle dorsiflexion with the knee uh, bent and with the knee extended, um, you should have about 10 degree of ankle dorsiflexion. So if you have a tight Achilles tendon, uh, that will cause decreased ankle dorsiflexion, especially with the knee extended. So what is the management for idiopathic toe walking? First, um, a full neurological exam should be done. This is extremely important. You should assess this patient very good to make sure that that's an idiopathic toe walking and it's not um, a secondary to other diseases like cerebral palsy uh, or Duchenne. Uh, if this child is less than two years uh, or he just learned it to, uh, to walk in the last six months, uh, the treatment is observation. So you should reassure the family uh, if this child is less than two years or um, he is less than six months from starting walk uh, that uh, most of these idiopathic toe walking will improve by themselves. However, if this child is older than two years and he learned walking for more than six months and toe walking is constant, this child should be referred for physical therapy for Achilles tendon stretching and then reassessment after six months. If there is no improvement after six months and the, the idiopathic toe walking is still constant, this child should be referred for an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, the options are Botox injection of the calf muscle. Botox um, is a botulinum toxin that causes neuromuscular blockade uh, that will cause uh, weakness uh, 
uh, of the plantar uh, flexors. Uh, this should be uh, combined with physical therapy for stitching of the Achilles tendon. Other option is serial casting. Uh, the child is put in a, a short leg walking cast and then with increasing um, dorsiflexion in each cast. Uh, the last option is Achilles tendon lengthening surgical uh, and this is referred for uh, resistant cases. Uh, thank you. All my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before your decision. Thank you.